Nittany Line Roar with Extreme Panda here, and this is episode 11 of the Beginner's Guide to Empires and Puzzles. And today we're going to talk about Titans. So, Titans are probably the biggest perk of joining an alliance because you get a lot of great uh, resources from the Titan, including those rare and elite Ascension items. Um, so, we have a Titan up right now. Um, this is a 12 star Titan. This is going to work exactly the same whether you're fighting 12 star Titans or 2 star Titans or five-star titans. Um, there are rare titans out there. They're a little bit different, but generally it works the same way. The only difference between a regular titan and a rare titan is that the rare titans usually reflect a color. For example, a purple titan is going to reflect purple, meaning it's going to deal damage to your purple heroes. Um, all right, so I'm going to build a titan team, and this is going to be my team. So one thing I want to point out is a lot of people think when they start out with this game that you have to have one hero of each color. Uh, as you're you're playing this, but not only do you not need to have uh, one hero of each color, a rainbow team, you can stack as many colors as you want. For example, I'm, I have four blues for this titan, um, and then one yellow. That yellow guy is really important. I'm going to talk about him in a moment. But you can have the same heroes if you want to. For example, um, if I wanted to, I could attack this titan with a bunch of heroes. Just like that. I could attack the Titan this way. So you can actually use the same hero more than once as well. But I'm not going to do that. Um, I think I want to hit this Titan as hard as I possibly can. And for that, I'm going to need some really big buff heroes. Uh, the troops are always important, so make sure to check your troops and which ones you have on there. Uh, I'm not talking strategy today, but um, there are other videos that talk about which troops are important to put on which heroes. Um, and this is going to be my team. So uh, let's take on the Titan and see how I do. I'm going to use um, some battle items here. I'm just going to use some real basic ones that you can acquire pretty early in the game. Um, and I'm going to try and hit this 12-star Titan. These 12-star Titans hit really hard. So as far as strategy goes, you're going to see me do something a little different than other, um, than like lower Titans. So I'm going to fire up my Wukong first. And this is a special guy because... Wukong increases the amount of damage that's being done to the enemy by a lot. Now, he can also make you miss the enemy. You're going to see that from time to time as I'm playing this, is that Wukong is making me miss. And that can drive you absolutely nuts. But I'll tell you what, there have been lots of studies done on Wukong. Um, there has been a good amount of data out there about Wu. And there's no question, uh, it is really important for you to have Wukong in your Titan lineup. Um, make sure that he is there. So um, if you are paying to play this game, then you need to go out and make sure that you have Wukong. If you, if you were lucky enough to acquire Wukong uh, somehow, um, then definitely be using him um, if you're a free-to-play player. And if you are free to play, don't worry, you're, you're still going to do a good job on Titans without Wukong, but uh, Wukong just makes you do, like, the best you possibly can on Titans. All right. So I've just been kind of trying to play. Um, I've been playing kind of safe, um, but uh, you can play as reckless or as safe as you want. Um, reckless and aggressive means you would probably do a little more damage towards the beginning, but your heroes would die. I played it a little bit safe so that I'd have more longevity. Um, but I just did 23,000 damage on this Titan. Um, and the Titan is something that you and your team take down together. So you and your alliance are all working on this. And you can see in our alliance, here's everybody who's been hitting them and how they're doing on it. You can also click on more to see who's hitting the Titan the hardest. Right now, Evil Rock has an insane 260,789 on this Titan. Uh, before, we actually had a member do over... Um, I think he did over 500. No, he did over a million by himself. Um, the legendary samurai in our alliance. He did over a million damage by himself. He just used all his Titan flasks and just hit it over and over and over again. You can see how much health is left. It's hard to look at because there's a lot of numbers there. But once the Titan's dead, then you get resources out of that too. Um, so let's talk about uh, Wukong a little bit more um, before I end this video. I'm going to go find him. Um, I think I already passed him. There we are. 
Okay, I'm giving emblems to Wukong because I want his defense to be really tough. But notice it says all allies get plus 185% attack with negative 32% accuracy for 5 turns. This is one of the biggest buffs you can get in the game to make your heroes do more damage. Um, but the downside is it causes you to miss. Don't let the misses scare you. Don't watch the misses. Um, just don't pay attention to them because you're going to drive yourself crazy. Some people talk themselves into thinking that Wu isn't good because of his misses. But if you want to do big, big Titan hits, you need Wu Kong on your team. Um, once again, if you're a free-to-play player, then hopefully you get lucky and you get him. If you're paying to play this game, then get him fast, level him up. You need him. All right. Just as with uh, Monsters and Heroes, once you kill Titans, you can fill a chest and also get um, uh, rewards out of that. Thanks for watching.